My name is Alexa. I'm coming to you from Special Needs Cobb here in Marietta, Georgia. We were formerly known as Ride in the Community until we rebranded to our new name in 2021. We are Cobb County's original special needs nonprofit founded in 1956. We provide residential respite services and resources to individuals with special needs and their families in Cobb County and beyond. We are here tonight with four awesome camps and programs from Cobb and Metro Atlanta who serve adult campers with special needs. We are excited to welcome Great Prospects, Shepherds College Preview Experience, Autism Improvise, and Spectrum Autism Support Group to our panel tonight. Each camp will have a little over 10 minutes to present, and then one, once everyone has presented, we'll have about a good 20 or 30 minutes uh, for questions at the end. So anything that pops up during the course of the presentations, just jot down and we'll get answered for you at the end. And with all that being said, I think we are ready to get started. Uh, Hannah from Great Prospects is here. Um, Hannah, are you ready to get to uh, mm -hmm. kick us off tonight? Yes, ma'am. I'm going to just go ahead and share my screen with everybody. Okay. Um, just let me know if you guys can see everything. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Looks good. Awesome. Awesome. <clears throat> and I sometimes have audio issues. If you guys can't hear me, let me know. Okay, we will do. Awesome. Well, hello, everyone. And thank you again for joining us tonight. Us at Great Prospects are excited to be here and get a chance to talk with you about our Summer Friends program. My name is Hannah Olstein, and I am the director here at Great Prospects. For those who may not have heard of us, we are a therapeutic day program located in Sandy Springs, Georgia. My direct contact information is listed right here, and you can reach me either email at info at greatprospectsinc.org, or you can call and text me at 770-314-424. So jumping right in, I wanna start out by touching on our eligibility criteria. Our Summer Friends Program is for 16 to 21 year olds in a setting with a six to one participant to staff ratio. Because of this, we require our participants to be ambulatory, continent, participate in the programs, and be able to stay with a group. We do a lot of physical activities and are out in the public on a daily basis. So this criteria ensures that our participants are able to engage and be active to the best of their abilities and to also ensure that they are able to communicate any needs, whether it's verbal or non, and that those needs are met. Okay. So dates and location. Our dates for the summer program are going to be four weeks in June and two weeks in July. Those dates you can see of uh, the weeks are listed right here. And these are gonna be full one week sessions. And it's gonna be running Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. until 4 p.m. We are located right off of Roswell Road in Sandy Springs. And we are fortunate enough to be using a space provided by the Rivercliff Lutheran Church. All right, registration and payment. So registration is now open and it's gonna close on May 24th. The application process is a very simple one page document that needs to be filled out and sent in with a $25 application fee. The fee can be paid with cash check, Venmo or PayPal. Once we have received those two items and we feel as though it is a good fit for us, as good as it is for you, we will send over a parent handbook that has some additional paperwork to be signed like code of conduct, parent acknowledgement, financial responsibilities, things like that. In regards to payments, we do accept cash or check, and for that, it would be $370 a week. That payment would be due on the Friday before the week of camp. So for instance, if you sign up for June 5th, June 2nd would be the payment due date. For our waiver participants, we are asking for proof of waiver, and the price is $420. All right. So some of the programs and activities that we offer are going to be therapeutics like art, music, Kijong, yoga, fitness, and more. We are actively out in the community at least once a day, going places like the local stores and malls, parks, indoor tracks, and much, much more. Every Friday, we have a Friday fun day where we switch between a $10 lunch day and a $20 lunch with activities. We will go somewhere, somewhere like bowling, golf, movies, or other fun adventures. 
On the right, we have what a typical daily schedule looks like. So you can see how much we get to do in a day and to see why it is important that we have those eligibility requirements in place. We are constantly moving around and changing pace. And while the activities in a given day will change, the structure is relatively similar each day. That allows the participants to have a sense of structure throughout the week, but it also allows them to experience new changes and new activities. Here is a sample calendar for what a typical week looks like here at Great Prospects. Each week you will receive a copy of a new calendar and the general activities that we will be doing. This is a point of reference, it is subject to change. We keep a legend at the bottom where we go by to ensure that all the activities we plan are in a productive and engaging manner. This is also where you can see if the week is going to be a $10 or $20 per run. On Saturday, once a month, we offer a day to the public for a fun day. Because this is an open event, you do not need to be a participant in the program or for in our summer friends. Just like our Fridays, we will do fun activities at Great Prospects and we will get lunch and go out as well. This is a really great way to see how your child or client may fit into the program and the group. We love to have our newer participants try it out to really get a feel for what a day at Great Prospects looks like. We have a few upcoming dates that will be before Summer Friends sign up, closes if you are interested in that as well. Well, we have one this Saturday and we would absolutely love for you guys to attend. We understand that this upcoming one may be too soon to plan for. So just keep in mind April 15th, May 5th and June 16th. Those are the upcoming dates. And again, this is just a really great way to see if the, what the program is like. Hey, I can't talk. I'm on a, I'm going to be presenting. So I, I got to get off. Sorry. Um, all righty. So I wanted to go ahead and give you guys our social medias as well. Um, this is really just a great way to check us out and see the activities we post regularly. Uh, of all the things that we're doing in the program, the program will be similar to what we do for our Summer Friends program. So I just think it gives you guys a really good opportunity to kind of see what a day is like. And then that is it. Um, Thank you guys for taking the time and allowing us a great prospects to share our summer friends program with you. Um, of course, if you have any questions or are interested, please do not hesitate to reach out. Awesome. Thank you so much, Hannah. And I believe Hannah is going to stick around. So if anybody has any further questions about great prospects and their summer program, you can get your questions answered there. Um, next up, we have Brian from Shepherd, Shepherd's College Preview Experience. Brian, are you ready to present? Yes. Okay. Give me just a second here. I'm gonna pull up my uh, presentation. No problem, take your time. All right, can you see my screen? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much for coordinating this. I appreciate the opportunity to present what we have going on um, this summer. And we are probably unfamiliar to, the, to most of this group, if not all of it, partially because Shepherd's College um, is located in Southeastern Wisconsin. And Shepherd's College is a three-year accredited college program for students with intellectual or developmental disabilities that provides a variety of uh, opportunities for students. And we're kind of taking the show on the road in a sense this summer, and we're gonna be running a couple camp-like weeks, uh, in, both in Dallas, Texas and Dallas, Georgia, oddly enough. So I'm here to share a little bit about who we are, what we do and what, we're, uh, what we'll be providing this summer in Dallas, Georgia area. So our mission, just to give you a little sense of um, where we're coming from, is that because people with intellectual and developmental disabilities have unrealized God-given potential, Shepherd's College provides a uniquely designed learning environment for our students to discover and maximize that potential so they are empowered to live a fulfilling life, to lead a fulfilling life. 
And the theme that emerges from that mission is that we are a specialized school. Everything we do for our students is built up for the, from the ground up for them to meet their specific needs. And we believe that when you learn in an environment designed specifically for you, you thrive. We are the Soaring Eagles, that's our logo. Our colors are navy and orange and school spirit's a big part of the student experience. Um, we are accredited through the Council on Occupation, Occupational Education out of Georgia to provide certificates in three trades, technology, culinary arts, and horticulture. Additionally, at our Wisconsin campus, we have uh, residential options for students. So we have served students in the last 15 years from 36 states and nine countries. And having the residential piece is part of what allows for that. And we have students who have some, you know, from moderate to significant uh, supportive needs. And this allows for them to make the transition, but also to grow with respect to their independent living skills over the period of time that they're in the program, which is three years. In addition to, uh, the, you know, the residential component and the occupational, we do a lot of things with student life. Um, the spiritual life is part of the program, advising, nursing, you know, we have uh, three RNs on staff to serve about 95 students, which is our total student population up here at the Wisconsin campus. Special Olympics is a huge part of what we do. We participate as a college uh, throughout the year. Service projects and outings comprise a big part of the student experience over the course of the time that they're here. As I said, because of the unique opportunity that Shepherds College provides, we've served students from 36 states and nine countries. We're, we're getting a growing contingency of students from the greater Atlanta area, um, which is part of why we have this desire to run this camp this summer. Um, in addition to a long-term vision and dream to actually establish a satellite campus somewhere in the Northern Atlanta area, which this will serve as a precursor to that. So I'll play this little video quickly to give you some of the general information about the event, and then I'll come back and, and unpack it just a bit more. Brian, there's no audio for us. Oh, there isn't. Mm -mm. Oh, I'm sorry about that. That's okay. Maybe by the end, I can get that uh, fixed and play it for you at that time, but we'll see. If not, I will give you the link to where you guys can find that video to get more information. That sounds good. So Shepherd's College Preview Experience, the theme for this summer is on and for a purpose. One of the pillars of our programming to help our students identify that they were created on and for a purpose and, and be able to develop their potential within that framework. What we are gonna try to replicate at the summer uh, Shepherd's College preview experience, the summer in Dallas, Georgia, it's gonna take place at Westridge Church. Uh, they have a new uh, special needs wing facility that they are actually building right now. And this will be one of the very first events that'll be held out of that uh, facility. But our, our objectives for the students who attend will be to make friends and have fun first and foremost, but to take some of the best hits in a sense from our programming in, in these other domains like life skill development, social skill, work readiness, faith formation. And then we're gonna give them a tool that we've developed uh, from SC Online, that's Shepherds College Online, an online platform designed uh, to provide post-secondary training to young adults with intellectual disabilities. It's frankly a really good resource for parents, um, for students who, who need more support. It's something that's really great to have a teacher or a, a parent or sibling sit alongside them and go through that. But we're gonna be giving them all free year membership uh, for those who do attend. And we're gonna teach them over the course of that week how to use it in the year after if they are interested in doing so. Curriculum, we'll see if this link works here. Can you see that, Alexa? The, the page that says Shepherd's College Preview yes. Experience? Mm -hmm. Okay. We can see it. Great. So just to give you a little bit of the, uh, the curriculum programming that's gonna take place, uh, we're gonna be running this camp, um, the Shepherd's College Preview Experience, the week of July 27th. So uh, that Monday, the 20, yeah, 20, I'm sorry not the 27th, let me make sure I get, we're doing this in multiple locations. So I wanna make sure I give you the right date. The 24th through the 27th. So it'll be Monday, the 24th 
through Thursday, the 27th. And the curriculum is going to cover sort of the following areas. As I mentioned, the theme is you are created on and for a purpose. Uh, we have four objectives that flow from that. And then to give you a little bit of the sequence of what we're going to be covering in the lesson planning and the experiences, I, I will be happy to send this curriculum to anybody interested in seeing more in depth of what's going to happen. But each day is going to include some uh, a devotional time, class time, the lunch, team building and afternoon activities, and then they will be done. The day generally is going to be over by 4 p.m., with the exception of Thursday, which we're going to go a little bit longer in the closing ceremony. Um, and students will be dropped off sometime between 8 and 8.30 a.m. So we're still working exactly on the details for that. Here's a general framework, just as what I described of what the days are going to look like. Um, assuming that it works at 8.30, they're going to be dropped off and then picked up each day between 3 and 4, which we're finalizing. The last day, we're going to have uh, a closing ceremony that parents are going to be invited to, to participate in. Um, that will take place in the afternoon and run till about 6 p.m. Shepherds College Online, I'm also going to include in the materials that will be followed up and sent to you guys a link to that just so you could poke around and explore it uh, and get a sense of, of what that curriculum would provide uh, for your students. If, if a, an individual were to purchase this curriculum just independently for an annual membership, it would be $325. Our costs for the whole week for, for the camp is going to be $625, but you will get a free membership to SC Online for free as a result of that. All right. If you go to our website, um, you will see, I'll actually pull up for you here. You guys can see my website, correct? All right, so under the student section, if you click students, under prospective students, because this is a program for prospective students, whether it's for future Atlanta students for an Atlanta campus or for the Wisconsin campus up here, we have Shepherds College preview experience. You click on that, scroll down the video, um, you'll be able to watch there to give you an overview with the information, dates, costs, and additional Underneath that, you have the dates specific to the locations we'll be operating these SCPEs. And then we have our admissions criteria along with the application process itself, and then a register link where you can begin uh, an inquiry to begin that application process. So for more information, I won't go into detail about all the admissions criteria here, um, but it is stated on the website and I would be happy to field additional questions that you may have as well. All right, Lexa, that's all I got for now. Awesome, thank you so much, Brian, for that presentation. We are moving right along. The next organization up is Autism Improvised. Um, just to be clear, this is not a summer camp, but they do have a really awesome improv program for special needs adults that I thought would be a good fit for this group. Um, and Sandy, if you are here and ready, please take it away. I am. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Hi everyone, I am Sandy Bruce. I'm founder and director of Autism Improvised. You're gonna to have to excuse my voice. I'm struggling with a little bit of laryngitis this evening, but I'll try to make it through <laughs> where you can hear me. Um, Let's see, I'm gonna throw up a quick little PowerPoint I did just mainly to give you contact information and stuff. So bear with me for just a moment. Oh, wait a second, I guess I should share my screen first. So hold on. All right. There, that's better. There we go. All right, um, so that's just, I put that up there just so you don't, you don't have to stare at me the whole time. So um, 
that's our contact information. Um, we'd love for you to visit our website at uh, autismimprovised.org and join us on Facebook at Autism Improvised. Uh, we have a lot of stuff going on there. You can sign up for our monthly newsletters. We have, um, I try to put a variety of information in there beside improv stuff. And I'd love to have you on, you know, come and be a, a part of our uh, information group. So um, basically we, our program, um, we have weekly classes in each of the programs that meet for six or eight week sessions throughout the year. Uh, we are enjoying hosted locations around the metro Atlanta area. Um, our hours are mainly after school and early evening and Saturdays. And currently we are running classes in East Cobb at Chestnut Ridge Christian Church. They've been very generous to our, give us some space to have our classes there since 2010. And uh, we are also meeting in Roswell at the Cottage School and um, the uh, Roswell Adult Recreation Center. Um, we're going to have Alpharetta and coming locations coming up soon. I'm just trying to um, nail the locations there. <laughs> and uh, I have a teacher eager and ready to take, take them on. So uh, we're currently looking for also space around Woodstock. So if you know of any good locations for us, just get in touch with me and I'll follow up on it. We serve youth through adults. We start right now at about age 10 or 11. Um, and uh, our participants are level one autism or Asperger's uh, and others who share similar social cognition challenges uh, that are common in, in the autism spectrum. Um, we uh, expect our participants to uh, have very few supports or no supports. Uh, we have a, a teacher that, that does the group there and we're not really staffed to uh, have anybody who needs a little more support than that. Um, we, um, let's see, uh, we have registration open right now for our spring classes that start uh, in a couple of weeks and our summer classes will be open for registration in April. <clears throat> um, you can register online at our website and um, that's autismimprovised.org. And uh, our pricing differs by the program. Um, we have three programs, and I'll get into that shortly. But typically, our costs run between $295 and $395 for a shenanigans course. And shenanigans is our founding program. Um, that runs one to one and a half hours a week for typically eight weeks. Our transitions classes, uh, Code Breakers and Bright Paths, run. 395 for a six week course of weekly classes. And our programs are private pay. We also accept waivers and family support funds. And occasionally we have um, partial or full, full scholarships available. <clears throat> um, to give you a little bit of a background about who we are and why we do what we do, um, I started Autism Improvised in 2009. Uh, we were called shenanigans back then. I was looking for an activity that would engage the creative energy of my grandson and uh, yet address the challenges he had with social communication, emotional regulation, and uh, personal boundaries. I uh, did a little bit of research. I was not a theater person, but I did some research and discovered improv theater, and I recognized the benefits it could have to our people on the spectrum because everything that improv teaches dovetails nicely with the challenges of autism. <clears throat> um, typically, our, our people that are in our program, have a, as anybody with, uh, with autism, um, they have difficult reading, difficulty reading between the lines of social interaction. And um, the improv addresses that beautifully by, by teaching them to um, recognize things like um, satire, um, irony, um, kidding, you know, all the little things like that that we take for granted, we recognize them and they kind of go over the head of somebody with, uh, with autism. Um, this was um, using improv specifically for um, challenges of autism was a unique idea in 2009. Uh, and we're now considered to be uh, in the vanguard for this form of applied improv. And applied improv means that you use improv to effect a change as opposed to doing a performance. So it's a process driven and not performance driven. Um, let's see. So, you know, we, we work with things like satire, irony, saying uh, often some of the hidden 
elements of, of a communication or saying one thing but meaning the opposite like um somebody can say uh, uh well don't you look nice today you know and the person with autism may not understand the body language or the vocal tone with that and they may take it as a compliment when it was really meant to be kind of a little mean teasing there well we want them to be able to recognize and understand that there's hidden meanings in in the, the words we speak and the body language we portray the tone of our voice um there's so many things that that go into how we communicate with others uh and of course, you know, if, if somebody on the spectrum doesn't recognize these little intricacies of, of communication, um, very often it can invite bullying behavior by their neurotypical peers. And of course, you know, we don't want that. Um, let me catch up with my screens here a little bit. Um, okay. Um, we address these challenges by playing theater games and we develop scenes from our imagination. We don't use props. All of our, all of our props are imaginary. And uh, what this gives our participants is the feeling of belonging. And that's so important to somebody on the spectrum when so often they're marginalized. And uh, they belong to improv. It's a cool activity. They have a group of people they all get to know and become friends with. And um, it's, it's just a happy feeling. We have a lot of friendships that develop from this. We've even had a couple of romances start with our adults. So it's, it's very, very fulfilling to everybody involved. Um, our groups learn to support each other. Uh, they learn to, everybody learns to have the back of everybody else. Um, they know they can practice all these emerging skills in a safe place while they build their self-confidence to take these skills into their world. The result over time is, of course, the greater self-confidence and the knowledge that you can think on your feet. Um, the conversations that you have can be valued um, and welcomed in, in your social groups. Um, you, you learn to list, listen to others, and that's not you know, you don't just hear them, you actually listen to them, you take in what they're saying, and you accept new ideas as a gift to build on. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, this is the prime rule of improv um, is yes and, where yes is accepting the suggestion or idea of a scene partner as a gift. And the and part is taking that new idea and building on it. And again, this is this, this is something that really kind of is difficult for our people on the spectrum because they tend to get in their own little focused interests. And uh, <coughs> excuse me, I'm gonna take a sip of water here. And so we want them to break out of that a little bit and kind of stretch their creativity and stretch their, their ability to accept other ideas. <laughs> we have three programs, uh, Shenanigans Improv, which is our founding program. That's pure improv fun, creative, imaginative, quite often silly and a lot of laughs. There are no wrong answers in improv and we're bound only by our imagination. <laughs> Pardon me, this laryngitis is kind of coming on. We have two transitions programs for ages 16 to about 22. Pardon me a second. <coughs> I apologize for this. I didn't think it'd be this bad. We have Code Breakers, uh, which is our curriculum of real life social topics. Um, I'm going to go through this very quickly. Uh, topics like handling frustration and anxiety, problem solving and dealing with difficult people. Flourishing at work. Now that you got the job, let's help you keep the job. <clears throat> we use improvised role play and discussion to cover each topic thoroughly over the six weekly one hour classes. Uh, if you ever heard of PEERS, which is an, an evidence-based social skills program developed at UCLA Semmel Institute of Neuroscience and Behavior. We are certified in peers and we offer code breakers as a follow up to reinforce skills developed in the peers program. But whether you're a peers alumni or not, um, <clears throat> we, uh, we think code breakers brings a valuable service to our young adults to help them kind of transition to, into adulthood. <laughs> and our other um, program, Bright Paths, I'm real excited to reintroduce this one because it's been on hiatus for the last three years during the pandemic. 
It's our program for high school and immediate post high school girls that uses role play and discussion to develop their self advocacy skills because um, I started this because I realized we had some young girls in our programs that um, <clears throat> they were emotionally naive and yet, you know, physically they were women and they were finding themselves getting in very difficult circumstances sometimes on social media um, and just, you know, out in group gatherings and stuff. And um, we needed to find a way to help them grow into the next phase of their life safely and um, <clears throat> and make the most of, of you know, of what they, they can accomplish. Uh, we work on skills like, um, what does a real friend look like? When is a friend not a friend? How do you handle a bully? Social media, the good and the bad and the ugly. And we've had a lot of social media issues with some of our people. Um, <clears throat> so these are the few of the topics that can be explored over the course of the six weekly classes. And uh, the girls very often bring up their own ideas that they want to talk about. And so we kind of, you know, we're improvisers. So we on the fly create the the scenarios to uh, to role play in and to talk about. And um, <clears throat> we have a wonderful transition specialist who's leading this group. And uh, it's it's just been a lot of fun for the girls. We uh, the groups we had pre pandemic developed into a very closely knit group of friends, and we love to see that. So um, <clears throat> both code breakers and bright paths require a short intake interview before we send you to registration. So if you're interested in any of those, um, just get in touch with me, and we'll get the ball rolling for you. Um, that is really all I have, and I thank goodness I made it through. I'm so sorry for all the coughing and everything. Um, <clears throat> I am happy to meet all of you, Alexa. Thank you for pulling this all together. Um, next time we do it, I'll be well. So, <laughs> But anyway, if you have any other questions, just get in touch with me. Uh, I'd love to talk to you about what we do. And uh, also, you know, I'm also looking for, um, like I said, space and teachers. So. If any of you know anybody who'd like to be a part of our team, just uh, let me know there too. Um, so that's all I have. And uh, it was a pleasure talking with you all. And I look forward to any questions you might have about us. And uh, Alexa, I'll finish up now and let you take it back. Thank you, Sandy. And you made it through. You did a great job. Thank you so much. <laughs> I know that you, you so must right. not feel good, and I would not have been able to do to do what you just did if I was feeling crappy. Can like that, you edit so. that out? <laughs> yeah. I, I wish I could. I'm not that talented. <laughs> All right. So our last camp for tonight is. Pardon me. One second. Our last camp for tonight is a uh, Spectrum Autism Support Group. Laura is here with them. And then after Laura goes, we are going to do our Q&A. Laura, are you ready to take it on over? Yep. Awesome. I am. Thank you, Alexis. You're welcome. Hi, everyone. I am Laura Velotic. I am the Assistant Director for Spectrum Autism Support Group, and I'm happy to be here to talk about our summer programs for adults. Oops, let me see. Oops, it's not. Oh, there we go. Sorry. Spectrum is celebrating its 25th year supporting um, education and resources um, for individuals and families impacted by autism in Gwinnett County and the surrounding Metro Atlanta area. We offer various monthly support meetings. Um, we have them for parents of adults, dad groups, parents of preschoolers, parents of school age children. We have sibling groups, we have grandparents groups. We have, uh, of course, adults with autism as a group. We have Autismo, which is a Spanish um, speaking group. And we have a brand new one called Mocha Matters. And Mocha Matters is a new virtual support group focused on issues that matter for people of color living with autism. And we have an, our fastest growing group is uh, for adults is the Neurodiverse Partners Group. And that is a virtual support group uh, run by a licensed marriage and family therapist that discusses issues that 
um, it, it's in a small group setting. They um, so it's limited on its size, you know, size. They offer to twice a twice during that day of that month. So there's like a noon session that you can sign up for, as well as an evening session uh, for an hour and a half. Uh, but it basically provides couples, you know, it provides the neurotypical um, spouse help understanding their partner who has autism and, you know, has different behaviors that they may not be familiar with and helps them, um, you know, grow together. So uh, that is, as I said, one of our fastest growing groups, because of course, being uh, virtual, we actually have um, people signed up from all over, not just um, in the Atlanta area. We also offer many different types of camps. Uh, we have six week summer camp, which I'll go into more detail. And I do want to address the person who had chatted whether we have nonverbal um, uh, you know, camps with for nonverbal adults. And the summer camp can absolutely be for nonverbal. I'll go into more detail with that when we get to that slide. We also provide um, day camps during school breaks. So for uh, spring spring break, we have an all week camp um, on certain days that we have off um, as holidays, we have day camps. Um, we also offer overnight camps for teens and young, young adults, as well as we have family camp, which is super fun. And I'll uh, talk to you a little more detail. I think we have a slide coming up on that because the overnight camps um, and the family camp are actually held at Fort Yargo's um, Camp Willoway. If you're familiar with that, it's a beautiful um, camp and it's, it's, you're staying in cabins. It's very comfortable with air conditioning and heating. And um, obviously when you're in the over, overnight camps, you, it's the child, you know, it's the adult or the child on their own which they have a 24 hour supervision, which we'll go into more detail. Um, but the family camp is where the entire family comes and they stay together in a, camp, a cabin by themselves, just as a unit. And But all the meals are provided and all the fun activities that are available at camp are there for um, the family to enjoy. We have a lot of social skills groups. We have a drama club that goes up through adult. Um, we, our drama club has been super excited this year because um, they are meeting at the Aurora Theater, which is in Lawrenceville, which if you're not familiar, the, um, the Aurora Theater has built a whole new theater and it's amazing, but they actually um, are utilizing the older, um, it's still connected to the um, Aurora Theater that's um, that they have now, but they're using that for all the rehearsals so that the rehearsals and the final production will all be done at the same place, which is important to, you know, be comfortable in their surroundings. And I believe that they're doing Aristocrats, which is going to be um, coming up in the spring. If you want to support us, come out and see that. Um, we have Saturday groups. We have technology groups or technology club, that is. The technology club will start back up in the fall. It will actually be held in our new um, property. Spectrum has always, um, for the past 25 years, held all of our events at different locations, um, renting space from churches and et cetera. But now we actually own a property that is under renovation in downtown Duluth. And we're actually repurposing a old Montessori school that um, actually is an early 1900 home um, for our headquarters. And then it has actually two more modular um, uh, buildings that we will use as well. Um, and it has a great outdoor space. And I'll, I think I'll tell you a little bit more about what we're going to be doing with the new property and on further slides. But the technology club will start meeting at the new property and it will, that age group is um, more of the middle and high school age group. Um, we have a Lego club. The Lego club is not just putting together kits, but it's actually um, socializing with, you know, people that love Legos and building things unique to um, their ideas. So it's a, it's a great social opportunity for adults and, and young teens. 
are um, we have other adult groups as well. So we have family activities. Um, so you know, it takes a village. So we have, we support an Easter egg hunt that the city of Norcross puts on and we do special things following that hunt to um, help out with sensory friendly activities for the community to be able to participate. And we get a lot of volunteers. We're very thankful for all of our volunteers. We couldn't do what we do without them, uh, but that'll be coming up. We have a, an annual fishing day. Our fishing day is super fun. It is a private lake that um, one of our um, sponsors always donates. And he also has a group of gentlemen that always provide all the fishing poles and they provide all the tools that we need for fishing and help train the entire family how to fish. And um, if you're not interested in fishing that day, we have a lot more going on in the same space because we offer um, like a petting zoo area, we have face painting, we have a bounce house, and we have lunch that's provided um, that kind of completes the um, morning. But uh, it's a fun day for the family. We also offer a pool party. Um, typically we have the pool party as an indoor um, pool party at um, various um, uh, county pools, and um, but it's a safe environment for the entire family to um, be able to swim and have fun together. Um, and I should say there is actually indoor and outdoor pool. I, it's not just indoor. We do offer it in the outdoor area. They have the option of going to the outdoor pool Full, fully, um, you know, staffed with all lifeguard um, and everything. And we have a um, holiday party in December every year, which is a great social time for all the um parents to get together and um you know share a meal together and we provide um um santa claus and mrs claus come out fully decked out with you know just amazing um decorations and we provide a um professional photographer to take pictures because um if you know um especially for younger children, when it comes time to taking pictures for Santa or different things, it's sometimes very challenging, but this is a safe environment where kids can, you know, be themselves and nobody is judging them. And they can, the parents then can have um, free digital pictures um, with Santa. Uh, additionally, we offer community education and training. Uh, we do this free to local businesses and churches. Um, Spectrum has an inclusion project that is a program um, providing support and training so that the um, camps and churches can include children with autism in their typical camps, um, which is, you know, important to um, not leave, leave them out. Uh, we have um, also offer one-on-one -on -one support and resources. Um, I've um, I know I fielded um, people calling, you know, with desperate need, and they were actually surprised that we would call them back because we all know when we go to try to find resources for our kids and our adult children, or our adult kids, I should say, I guess they're not really kids when they're adults, but I have an 18 year old, and I still consider my baby. Um, but um, it's nice to be able to have somebody to actually talk through things and get advice on, on different things. So we mentioned the um, summer camp. So summer camp is coming up. The registration has already opened up. So um, if you are interested, this goes up, you know, through young adult age um, and it can be nonverbal as well. Um, we, we actually are, this camp is managed by Social Skills Today. I don't know if you're familiar with that organization, but Adrian Wilkins, we've worked with her for years and years, and Mary O'Connell, and they provide a fantastic camp that's super exciting. Every, every week is a different theme. We have different um, organizations that come out. Companies like um, Top Golf will demonstrate doing um, golfing or the bubble lady will come out and do bubbles, different fun things. And there's a, um, adaptive um, um, playgrounds where we meet, which is the Net Church, which is in Lilburn, right on 
um, Pleasant Hill Road. Um, we all the teachers that this was developed by um, certified teachers and um, they are um, staffed by um, special education teachers and para pros and it's for all levels. As I mentioned, Camp Journey, which is what we call our overnight camps, are offered. We've got a set coming in March. Um, the next one is actually in July. Um, so if you are interested, please definitely um, sign up early because they do fill, fill up fast. Um, one thing I didn't mention on the previous slide, and it applies to Camp Journey as well, which is just that we do take um, the um, NOW Comp and Family Support um, uh, funding to help you pay for these camps and day camps. Um, so you just need to get it pre-approved through Claire Dees, who's our executive director. Um, so please always um, check with that to get your registration code so that you can just register with the deposit and then get refunded once the, the uh, funding comes through. Um, but as I mentioned, Camp Journey is held in um, Fort Yargo's Twin Camp Twin Lakes, has a pool, has archery and fishing and canoeing and lots of sports available. And as I said, um, it's a 24 hour supervised um, um, event um, by educational and medical professionals that are trained to work with people and pe persons with um, autism. We have a new, brand new program, which I'm kind of excited about um, because it's sort of geared towards um, young adults like my son, who's just 18 as a senior in high school. It's called um, a transition academy. And what we've realized is that a lot of um, um, higher functioning autistic children are focused so much in school on academics that they aren't getting the social skills and the um, training that a lot of the other um, um, less um, higher functioning, lower functioning autistic children get. So basically this is a, um, a six week course led by uh, life behavioral consultants um, using the peer cur curriculum, which I believe Nance, uh, it was um, uh, the previous speaker who was, sp was speaking about, Sandra, sorry, I forgot your name, Sandra. Um, and they go through basically adulting 101, because as she mentioned, a lot of times the nuances of how people are talking to you isn't always um, caught by um, kids on the spectrum. I will say this course is basically geared towards people that are going to college or going to have a job, um, you know, so it's for, like I said, higher functioning um, uh, young adults. As I mentioned, adult so, um, social support groups are our fastest growing um, group that we have. Uh, we add programs as we uh, need to fill in gaps that are existing. And this is one of the ways that we've done it. Um, the We have the monthly support meetings, which is always our first Thursday of the month, which we meet at First Baptist Duluth um, at 6.30 to 8 p.m. And um, if there's no reservation required, you just show up and um, we have childcare available. We do social skills for all age groups. We have a, um, you know, autistic adult group that meets and it's pretty, pretty good sized group that they're pretty faithful to coming every, every month. And then that group also meets uh, as a social outing um, once a month. And um, this past week, they went to um, Get Air, which was a trampoline place that provided sensory friendly trampoline um, um, activities. We also have a lot of activities for women um, on the spectrum. So Art Reach is a very um, um, enjoyable activity for women. It's on the third Thursday of the month. It's held at Hudgens Arts Center. And um, you just, the, the women bring their food and bring their drinks and enjoy art. And they have all kinds of very good discussions going on during that. 
And we also are offering a virtual uh, women's group on um, two Fridays per month as well. And as always, please look at atl-spectrum.com for information on any and all of our programs because things change quickly. One of the quick things that we did was we noticed, as I mentioned, we try to fill in the gap. Um, there were a lot of adult um, um, uh, autistic adults that have said that they wanted more opportunities to meet people of the opposite sex uh, to either um, be in a dating relationship or friendships. So we created Table Talk, which was a huge success. We started last month and we, we partnered up with 101 Bagel. Um, the owner actually has five locations. So um, this month in, in March, it's going to be held in um, Crabapple in Roswell. Uh, but it was in Duluth last month and it was a huge, huge success. Um, I spoke to several of the participants and they really enjoyed it. Um, I think we're learning a little bit each time we do it and, you know, provide a little bit better. I will just mention real quickly that um, um, there's, I don't know if you've been on Netflix, but there's a lot of um, reality shows about people with um, on the spectrum and they have interest in table talk. I'll just say it like that. I can't say anything more um, because uh, we're not allowed, but I appreciate um, that. And also we partner with Life with the Spectrum, which is, oops, sorry, which is um, um, the organization that um, um, we worked with um, on that. So one of the um, family days we have is our fishing fun day, which I mentioned. It's at Wayne Hills Pond, which is a private pond, and it's a lot of fun. Um, I super enjoy it. That was my first experience with Spectra when my son was four, was being able to see him try to catch fish. It was amazing. Um, and my daughter, who's a uh, neurotypical enjoyed the face painting and the pony rides as well as the fishing. So it was a fun day for all. Uh, and it's all free. Um, we also have the family day with the stripers game at Cool Ray Field. That's the um, uh, baseball team. I guess they, um, the li uh, not little league, I'm sorry, uh, minor league, uh, but minor league team. And um, they're in Lawrenceville. And so we've got a July 23rd game coming up. If you'd like to um, participate, our family pool party will happen again in July. And then we have our family camp weekend always happens on the weekend of Labor Day. And please, 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 if you have never been to the Georgia Race for Autism and Fall Festival at the Gwinnett Fairgrounds, please try to come this year. It is absolutely amazing. This is our 17th annual event, we have a lot, we had 70 plus resource tables. It's a wealth of information for you, but we have silent auctions. The kids can do races. There's a 5k, there's bands and orchestras and food. And all we have the Disney characters, the, the, the um, Star Wars characters running around for pictures. It is a lot of fun. So I highly encourage you to check that out if you haven't done that before. And if you have any questions, please contact um, the executive director, Claire Deeds, and that is her email, claire at atl-spectrum.com. Or if you have specific questions about the summer day camp or camp journey, you can contact Adrian Wilkins, who's the program manager for so social skills today, adrian at socialskillstoday.com. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much, Laura. Um, Spectrum has a ton of events and programs um, for kiddos with or adult kiddos with autism. Um, so I'm so happy that you guys were able to join us. And that does conclude our presentations. Um, so we are going to, thanks, Nancy. <laughs> so we are going to move into our Q&A session. Um, before we get started, I did just want to thank all of our camps that joined us today. Um, 
this is a good size group. So for the Q&A, um, I am going to let people unmute themselves. But if you could um, just raise your hand um, either on uh, or raise your hand using the raise hand icon, which is at the bottom of your Zoom screen, or go ahead and put your question in the chat and I will read off your question and we will make sure that everyone's questions get answered. Um, so do we have any takers for our first question? Uh, Heather asked us if we're going to be emailing the slides and information out to us. Um, all of the camps here today are going to be sending me some information to forward out to everyone, and that will include contact information and information about registration for the camps. Any questions, y'all? Thank you, Tracy. All right. Well, if there are no questions, I'm going to finish us out. Um, thank you. Um, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. Before everyone heads out for the evening, um, I am leaving a link in the chat to a survey. If you could just take 30 seconds to answer that survey, um, it helps me uh, make sure that I did a good job and to uh, plan future workshops. Uh, we do have a question that popped up. Nuvia, um, are these activities, family day camps, are mm -hmm. only for autism families? Sorry if I missed that info. Um, Brian, do you only well, serve oh, people with autism? What was that again? I'm sorry. Are are you? Uh, does your um does the Shepherd's <laughs> College preview only serve um adults with autism? Not only, no. Okay. Our um, so we're we're registering up to forty total students, and we'll be bringing fifteen of our staff. Um, from our program down for the operation, somewhere between 15 minimum up to 20 potentially. Uh, until we get the full registration, we won't know what the complexion of our students will be, but uh, in terms of diagnosis. In Wisconsin, um, our, our current student body, about 40% have an autism spectrum diagnosis. Okay. Yeah, Nubia is specifically um, asking if her son has Downs. Mm hmm so it, I think it's just going to, Nubia, I think it's just going to depend on um, your son's other needs as far as if he's ambulatory um, and just fits into the other qualifications of the camps. <clears throat> You're welcome. I, I just want to mention for Spectrum, it doesn't require you to have an autism diagnosis to participate. Um, we're well aware, especially with uh, adults with autism, not everybody has a diagnosis. Um, there are a lot of doctors who don't even understand how to, um, you know, uh, appropriately evaluate adults on the spectrum. I will just say that from personal experience. Um, so we understand that usually, even if you have spectrum or you have ADHD, let's just say ADHD, a lot of times that comes with a lot of extra other special uh, education type um, needs, you know, special needs. And so um, you could actually come to our day camps and overnight camps, even if you're not diagnosed with autism, but just have some of the underlying um, similar type special needs. And similar, that's similar to our programs too. Um, we work with the, the, um, the high functioning population, they may or may not have an autism diagnosis. We don't require a diagnosis. Um, and we um, have people coming in who are shy and just want to build a little self-confidence. We have others who come in because it's a cool activity and they like being a part of a cool activity. Um, and 
we have, um, gosh, we've had uh, people with learning differences. And, and basically, if you're if you enjoy our programs and can be, you know, participate in them, you're welcome to join us. That's wonderful that you guys are so willing to be accessible to people who don't have formal diagnosis, because I know that that is a big barrier for a lot of these folks. So. All right, if there's no more questions, I think we are going to head out for the evening. Um, Again, if you guys can fill out that survey, I would really appreciate that. Thank you, uh, Sandra, Laura, Brian, and Hannah for being here tonight. I really appreciate y'all. Um, and I'm sure these parents do as well. Uh, thank you everyone for your participation. Um, keep an eye out for the follow-up email that will be coming out either tomorrow or um, early Monday. And then later in the week, next week, I will have the recording available and we'll send you that link via email as well. Um, so again, thank you everyone. Um, I'm going to hang around a minute. Thank you, Tina. I appreciate you as always. Um, I'm going to hang around for a minute if anyone needs to chat, but to everyone else, I hope you have a good night.